as a boy, Michael Tansy was known for being diligent, hardworking, a good schoolboy, a good houseboy, houseboy, the type we call boy. He was good. He worked hard. He was honest. He was obedient. He was chaste as a boy. And he was joyful. He was good at football. He did not go to Atlanta for World Cup. But he played as much as you could play at Aguilera. He prayed. There was once other boys who were looking for him. They did not find him. Then they saw him finally in the church, in front of Blessed Sacrament, attentive, fixed, without moving, without looking backwards and forwards. He was praying. He was attentive to Jesus in the tabernacle. He was in union with God, even at that age. As a teacher, Father Tansy was known, that time Michael Tansy, school teacher, then headmaster. He was known to be dedicated. He looked for excellence from the children in the school. He was teaching them by word and example. He lived a simple life. He was not rich. We are told that as headmaster, he came to school without shoes. But when inspector was coming, he ran quickly and got shoes. As a teacher, he trained the children in sports. Only the best was good for Michael Tansy. Rightly did Professor Elizabeth Isiche writing his life Entitle it entirely for God. Obviously, priests for me were distant figures, but I came nearer to him when my baptism was near, we had to go through the catechist, the station catechist at Ezeola, then the central parish catechist at Dunukofia, where he lived. Indeed, he was still building. He was living at Omonachi. That's when I first met him. And I saw him as a figure distant from me, small boy of nine, as a man of God, as one who celebrated the sacred mysteries, you could see that he believed in what he was celebrating. He was almost carried away to another world during Mass or Eucharistic benediction. We are influenced by other people. So divine providence uses other people to influence us. And there's nothing like a model in front of you. We were not given lectures about going to seminary, but Blessed Father Tansy was himself. His life was more powerful than a university lecture on the seminary. So just by seeing this man, see him say mass, hear him preach, go to confession to him, see him ride a bicycle, visit the sick from town to town it was actual grace definitely so divine providence used it are we surprised that there are many priestly and religious vocations in the areas where he worked because of that type of man as i would put it unless you have fire you cannot inspire but if you have fire then you can inspire. Anybody sitting near fire 
There is no question of indifference. You will catch the heat. And of course, when he preached, he was like a flaming sword. No one could say, I don't remember what he said. I know, we remembered what he said. Some still remember some phrases from what he said because of the sincerity, clarity, also fire in his words.